Kathy, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you became involved in education and what drives your passion for helping youth? Sure. So I have been a lifelong educator. I knew that that was what I wanted to do my sophomore year of college. I um, had started out in something else and found that to be boring, was volunteering in, at a daycare center and decided I want to be with kids. So that's been my lifelong career. I uh, started as a second grade teacher in a bilingual classroom and moved then through all kinds of grade levels and then to all different roles in quasi administration, administration, some special education background, curriculum work, and then ended my career as the chief academic officer, as you said. The reason I started working for SkillsLine is because I had been, you know, my passion was for preparing kids for whatever they decided to do with their future. Uh, part of that is the academic piece, but a greater part of that is their, the skills that they need in order to build relationships and be with people. I found early on in my own career that building relationships was the key to moving and having a happy work-life balance, being, wanting to go to work every day, wanting to see kids, wanting to see my colleagues, uh, connecting with them. In fact, some of the best ideas I ever got for home and for work were from colleagues in schools and parents that I interacted with. And so I know that that's important for kids as well. As a principal, an elementary principal, I felt like we expected kids to have those skills and then provided consequences when they didn't have them. And so as a school, we decided that it was time to teach them. And so as I moved through my career, I held on to that, that we needed to teach the kids the skills we expected them to have and not just assume that they had acquired them as we had. And so when I retired from a school district, from public education, I connected with Chris um, as a part of SkillsLine and I wanted to be a part of actually teaching those skills in an easy to implement fashion taking what I knew about teachers and what I knew about learners and bring it forth so that uh, we could provide them with the support and the tools that they needed to get that done.